Hello YouTube, this is Lucidus Lux. I'm coming to you with an update video. I haven't made a video on my biogas system for quite a while and I wanted to make one about uh, its winter operation, uh, what to expect as well as just more of an update on how the system is doing. So in North Carolina, it doesn't get that cold. I will say that to boot. Um, it's been around, coldest it's got, it's about 25 degrees. I think we had about 20 degrees at one point in time. It's ranged uh, quite a bit. We've had most nights averaging around probably 30 to 38. In the daytime, it gets up around 40 to 50 and even 60 degrees. It just really ranges all over the place. So as you can see, I built a uh, greenhouse right there around my system. If you call that a greenhouse, it's very small, just enough to keep the elements a little sheltered. Uh, from the unit as well as keep snow off it when it does snow here, which it doesn't snow very often um, Keep the wind from cooling it down a little bit. I made a decision this year to try something different I got this unit last winter uh, at the end of last winter early spring and I bought an aquarium heater and there is one in there but I decided this year to not use any additional power and see what happens I want to use this winter as more of a baseline since I got it last winter, uh, it was at the end of last winter, I didn't really go through a full winter with it. It was just turning spring, about what it'll be here in about another month, uh, would be about a year since I've owned this system. So this winter I wanted to just use this winter as a baseline and not add any additional heat. My theory with biogas is to have it completely renewable and if I'm actually using energy to produce gas, it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. So I want to see how it does, and if it does poorly, which I will get into in a little bit, uh, then we'll see next winter about adding some additional electricity and actually metering the electricity and seeing how much I use and if it's worth it. So your anaerobic digestion in your biodigester occurs at a, a wide range of temperatures. And the optimum temperature you want to have it at is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit. The minimum is around 89.6 to 93 from what I've noticed and the lowest you really want to go is about 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. If you go below 68 degrees, home biogas uh, does not recommend you go any lower than that. Uh, it can lower the pH balance of your system and cause it to go sour and then you'll have to reactivate it. Now, without any heat, it has got colder than that here, and gas production has slowed down and pretty much ground to a halt, and I'll get into that a little bit more. But during the various temperature ranges, you have various uh, cultures of bacteria that eat at your waist. You have the psychophiles that function around 41 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and that bacteria culture is one of the slowest producing uh, gas cultures you have. If you want to bump it up a little bit to the mesophiles, they function around 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's about what you're going to get normally. Going up a little further, if you can get a little warmer, the thermophiles, a little harder to get because those function around 122 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, most of us will never see the hypothermophiles. That's more of a commercial equipment where you have a lot of monitoring equipment, and those function at 149 plus uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So once you drop below the 41 degrees, you're going to have no gas production at all. And you're going to be, well, below 68, you're already affecting the pH balance. And once it gets off, um, then the system will die. And so my system will need to be reactivated uh, based on what I've seen so far. However, it has been slowly producing gas. The gas has just been really, really slow when it spikes way down without a lot of additional um, temperatures added to it. Then it... Uh, Sorry, my dog is, is just going crazy over there. He loves chewing on things. Um, but uh, my system has been producing gas and I wanna show you in just a little bit here what it has been doing. So I ran this tank down uh, to about empty, just as a reference, and it is about one third full. A uh, little over one third, but about one third full. It's, it's, it's pushing almost half full. 
Um, but this is what has built up over the entirety of the winter. I haven't used any gas. I've completely disconnected my my uh, burner on the inside uh, just so I can see exactly what it does. So right now uh, the gas has been extremely slow, if not n not at all. Uh, water does take a while to cool down, so though it has dropped way down at night uh, with this out here, um, it has kept it at somewhat warmer and it takes a while for water to cool down. It absorbs an incredible amount of energy during the day, uh, but then it takes forever to heat back up. So approximately all winter long without any uh, heat at all or any sort of external power as a baseline, this is what it's produced from completely empty. Another thing I want to note uh, is regards to the toilet attachment. I did have an issue with the pump about, I want to say November, and uh, I contacted Home Biogas. I let them know I was having a problem, and uh, as soon as they found out what was going on and we troubleshooted it a little bit, they shot, they uh, sent me this, this replacement kit. So the pump was having an issue that Home Biogas has never dealt with before, and they were very quick to get back with me as well as send this out. Um, so they do follow through with their warranty information. They also let me know this is the first time they've ever had an issue with one of their pumps, so they they haven't uh, had this issue before. Um, this pump, this uh, kit has a bunch of replacement seals as well as replacement parts, and I'm going to be installing this here really soon. I've been doing a lot of traveling, had not have time, had a lot of time recently. But the issue I was having was when I was pumping water out from the system, it was coming back up. So, and first, and I want to add a side note, I did not clean uh, the bowl at all, just to kind of give you guys another reference. Also, uh, when you're using water that is recycled water from your gray water tank, even with a clean filter, you're still going to have little specks of stuff that come up through, as well as just a general discoloration in the bowl. And that just, that happens with any toilet, but especially when you're using a gray water to flush it. It's just, that's gonna be about normal. So you're gonna have to clean it quite often if that bothers you, just to give you a little bit of a reference. But what was going on was I would pump the water out with this, and I even put it in block mode that they had me uh, switch this over where it actually locks it so nothing can come back but it wasn't quite holding pressure and some water would come bubbling back I didn't get any solids but I was getting a little bit of discoloration a little bit of uh, the water from what I was pumping out and so they concluded that this pump was defective and they sent me some replacement parts now that happened around November so about eight months after I got the system. Now I haven't put the new one in, um, but they were very quick to replace it. And so I wanna give them props for that. I also wanna add another note. I would highly suggest, if you haven't, to get a bidet uh, with your uh, system. Um, even if you don't use it for the actual thing itself, it functions as a great way to fill the bowl with water if you don't wanna flush with gray water. So sometimes my tank is empty and I can't flush with gray water, so I just put it in cleaning mode so it doesn't spray anything but the bowl itself, and then I turn it on and it fills the bowl. It's just a great secondary way to fill your bowl with clean water if you don't want to uh, use gray water. Other than that, I have had no issues with this system. I haven't exactly been using it. I've disconnected and I've been using propane of late because I want to use this here as, a, uh, as more of a baseline to see what happens when I do plug it in next year to have an entire or this winter to have an entire winter that I can judge off from what happens when you don't use any power versus when you do. So anyway that's all. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will come to you next time.